Marino from Cahuan, Alberta. Alberta, 
Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Beanie John. I'm Plains Cree and Taino from Kihuan, Alberta. I've been doing the hoop dance, which is a form of storytelling and a form of healing done through dance. I've been dancing since I was eight years old. I'm self-taught. My older siblings do this style of dance as well. They practice this style. And they taught it to the younger ones in different communities all throughout Canada and the United States. I took up this style of dance and took it to be my own. I won first pl uh, sorry, I won second place at the World Championship Hoop Dance uh, Competition down in Phoenix, Arizona. And I also won fifth place this year at the World Championship Hoop Dance um, uh, Championship down there. This is again a storytelling dance. It's one of our oldest style of dances. Traditionally, this dance was done with red willow hoops. If you're part of the Taos Pueblo people down in New Mexico, going all the way down in the States, they use the reed hoops. Reed hoops that were bent, dyed, and tied with the traditional colors, with roots, with berries. Depending on that dancer, depending on that style, and depending on the story behind that hoop dancer. Hoop dancers were a nomadic dancer, meaning that a lot of different nations had their own form of hoop dancing, their own form of healing done through the hoop. A lot of uh, indigenous people throughout Turtle Island, also known as North America, have their own form of ceremonies that are done within the circle, with, with, which is done within the Red Willow. If you know anything about Red Willow, is everyone familiar with what aspirin is? Have you ever taken aspirin? There's traditional uh, medicine within aspirin called ASA. Within the ASA is, is what's found in the, in the Red Willow. So as, as well as it was for dancing, it was also for healing as well.
Thank you.